Are the dolls in your dollhouse needing a way to hang some clothes up in their closet? Today I show you how to turn some simple paper clips into some really simple clothes hangers for the dolls to use. Join me and see how easy this is. Alright, to make our hangers we need, a, we need a couple of tools and we need some paper clips. So let's talk about the tools first. You'll definitely need a pair of needle nose jewelry pliers. I like the jewelry ones the best because they're smaller and they get in these small details. Um, these do have a cutter on them but I don't like using these cutters on the pliers. I find that they don't cut very well and they're hard to control. So I like to use a separate side cutter my dad always called this style wire cutter side cutters. These ones that you can really tell where you're cutting with, these are also jewelry size ones. These came in a big kit with some other tools in it, um, and they weren't expensive. I got these at probably Michael's uh, several years ago for not very much, and I know they have the big kits. They're not nice ones. If I was doing jewelry, I would buy nicer ones. For what I do it with, I just buy the cheap ones. And this is the other tool that we need. This came out of, I have probably one like this too, but I don't know where it is. Um, this is kind of like a needle nose pliers, but it's got these really small round ends on it. And as far as I know, they're, they're used when you're making jewelry to, to bend like your wire into a, a nice neat circle to connect things. These are handy. So that's our tools. Our hangers are made out of paper clips. Now these are Dollar Tree paper clips. There are advantages and disadvantages to Dollar Tree paper clips for this project. And by the way, this is for 112 scale. You can get bigger paper clips for Barbie size. I don't think Dollar Tree ever has them, so they're going to be a little harder to work with, which we'll talk about here in a second. Dollar Tree paper clips typically, or even ones from Walmart and stuff that are che the cheaper ones, are a lighter weight wire so they're easier to cut with your wire cutters or easier to bend with your pliers. The other thing that's thinner I have found is this coating. Now I've done the same project before with more expensive paper clips. The wire was a lot harder to cut and bend but the coating didn't fail on me as often. I have gone through a lot of these this morning just trying to get a couple made to do a video. This coating does split and I'm not sure if there's any way around that but these are cheap. Um, between 50 and 100 of these for a dollar. So realistically you could go through a bunch of them to get a few nice hangers and it would still be a really inexpensive project. So that's what we need. Now let's get started making them. Alright our first step in making these, we'll pick one at random here, we're going to judge where the middle is. I know the middle is somewhere around here. So, I am going to take this, the outside piece, the shorter piece up here, and I'm going to bend it. And then I'm going to bend the longer side up. Now, how you are using your hangers will depend on, depend on how much time you want to spend shaping this middle. Um, and I'm going to leave that up to you. Now carefully do this because this stuff wants to come apart. Now, we are going to take this. We're going to start going like this. We're going to bend it around. Similar to how a real hanger is made. We're going to get it aimed up so it's above. And now we're going to twist. Now, Oops. Okay, we're kind of funky shaped here. That's okay. These will straighten out. It's wire. 
And like I said, this is fairly light wire. So let's kind of work with it. Now if you are going to put clothes on these where you won't see these, don't worry about how this part looks too much. Just kind of get it even so your clothes will hang nice and that's all there is to it. If you're going to have them displayed either empty in any way, whether laying on the floor, in the bedroom, on the closet, in a store, whatever, then you'll need to spend more time shaping this and that's up to you. Now, we've gotten this far. Let's clip this top and I'm estimating because it's a cheap Dollar Tree one, it clipped off pretty easily. Um, the ones from the other stores don't clip as nice, but they are easier to work with in some ways. Now we've got a clip. We've got a hook. So we can fiddle with this. We can, you know, work with it, get it more even. But that's basically all you have to do to make some hangers. So I'm going to off camera, I'll make a few more, and then I'll be back. All right, so here's, I've spent like two or three minutes working on these. And I've got a few, I mean, and this is a really good example of what happens with this paint. The major problem I'm having is keeping this paint on. It would be easier to shape if the paint wasn't coming off. By the way, this little bonus Trash to Treasure project, instant straw for your dolls. Um, you can also, of course, use the plain pipe uh, paper clips that have no coating on them and make silver ones, and then you won't have the paint peeling problem. But there you are, uh, just a few easy paper clip hangers. Uh, I'm sure you'll do a better job than I did because you'll take time to do them. This one didn't turn out too bad. And, you know, depending, like I said, depending on how you're using them. If you're putting clothes over them, it really doesn't matter. Especially if you just need something to hang your clothes in your doll's closet. So I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure project. Come back next week and see what we do then. And be sure and check out the blog for more details. And find us on Facebook and join the conversation there. I'll talk to you later. Bye.